Bismillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Brothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh I am Isa Ghali Sisi One of the founding students At the then Islamic University At Maboraka This university was established In 1991 By the Muslim World League we were fortunate to have been the first set of students admitted into that university to pursue our various causes and Arabic and Islamic studies as well. Unfortunately for us, after having spent like three years, solid academic years in that university, it was shut down when the civil war struck in that part of the country, the northern part of the country. So we were asked to leave the university. The foreign students get stranded in the city to get their air ticket back to their various countries. Well, this is exactly the painful experience that we went through. We were scouting helter skelter to find Islamic universities to enroll as students so that we can continue our causes but to no avail and as I'm speaking on to this present date there has never been an Islamic University in this country so if our brothers and sisters in the diaspora are desperately working on the need for the establishment of Al Sumite University which will be a Muslim-run university in this country, that will be a welcome idea. Far more than ever, that your effort will be richly rewarded by Allah for as long as you contribute immensely for the propagation and promotion of Islam in this part of the world, particularly so when we are in a third world country. So we appreciate your initiative and we are always keeping you in our prayers that Allah will help you to succeed in this noble venture. It has been the hope of the Muslims and it's still the hope and the aspiration of all Muslims. And I want to assure you, it's going to be their own pride, it's going to be their own integrity, it's going to be good joy. There is no way I can catalog the, the joy that will be the outcome the day they see this institution established. It's timely. Their reward is Allah. But the joy that will be greeted by the community, by the nation, by posterity, I believe it's enough. You know, let me tell you one thing. Uh, the sponsors have to know that they are doing something very wonderful. Like inwardly to, to do this. We have, we have done the right thing to the right people. You know, uh, I, I'm telling you, like you can see, I don't have words to be able to express the joy I'm feeling now. The imagination about this university, like I've spoken so much about it in the Kutuba, I've spoken in many quarters. They are looking for Inshallah, for that one to be realized. And I assure you, it will be realized because we have a lot of professors now in different fields here. In different fields, we have a lot of people who are PhDs in mathematics. They are Muslims. So I believe when they have this kind of institution, they have no problem about having even inner manpower to come and help. The reopening of the establishment of the Islamic University is of very importance to me. Since I'm in secondary school, as for me, that's my dream. I've been always dreaming of to attend an Islamic university when I'm through my secondary education. So I'm very excited to hear such news because since in um, Sierra Leone history, the Christians have so many missions, why the Islam sector doesn't have much as they can. But it is a good initiative for bringing up our Islamic university or institution where we can meet as Islamic brothers, we interact together, then we came as one 
we, we united this one, so we do one thing. So it is important to me, and that was my dream. I want to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. Haven't heard about the purpose of the University Islamic Institution. I want to say I'm very much happy. We pray that short an announcement will be succeeding. You see, some of our sisters today are only focused on this English institution, forgetting about the Islamic ethics. And look today, the world. So many of us have been mislead due to some negative impact, which of course, if this university institution is being established, I'm sure that short interaction will be decreased. It will have an impact on the lives of Sierra Leoneans, particularly the Muslims, because we have been yearning for this kind of institution for quite a while, for a long, long while. This time it has to be seen that the Muslim donors are there to help us actualize this dream to have a proper Islamic university in Sierra Leone. It's a welcome idea because um, uh, up to this point in time we don't have an Islamic institution that offers degree. So I think that would be a welcome idea and we need people at level to be able to teach at various levels. They are definitely going to have an impact because we have been uh, grappling with um, Islamic studies within the country, within the educational system. You know, we used to have um, um, the Magbuka Islamic College, which is no longer there. We have bits and pieces of um, semi-sub-institutions, um, um, which are just tertiary institutions, not um, full-fledged uh, university or polytechnics. Well, I just want to encourage them to expedite whatever action they are going to take. The earlier we establish the university, the better it is for us. It is gaining momentum and we don't want that momentum to die. So the earlier it is established, the better it would be for us. of Islamic nature with a proper background in academics, that will be a very welcome idea for the nation of Sierra Leone as a whole. And uh, I'm sure uh, tertiary institutions or universities or colleges are a key factor in the development of any nation. So with the advent of this uh, Assumate Islamic University in Sierra Leone, with so many programs and uh, degrees, diplomas, I think uh, it will go a long way to enhance the career, uh, the career possibilities of uh, students, not only Muslims, but general students generally. Uh, Sierra Leone is a nation, a country that needs uh, such universities because we have uh, Christian colleges all over the country and they are producing graduates every year. And uh, for we Muslims, we don't have a tertiary uh, institution that has started producing uh, graduates. I think uh, it will be a, a very good advantage for the Muslims in this country to have uh, such an institution. And uh, we would like also to emphasize that we don't want it to be an institution with uh, low standards because the competition is very heavy, the competition is high, and our counterparts have gone way ahead. We don't want to start uh, shaky. We want to start something uh, which will attract the students as well as uh, uh, other partners and other uh, competitors in the field.
انقطع عمله الا من ثلاث صدقه جاريه او علم ينتفع به او ولد صالح يدعو له فهذا هذه الكليه كليه السويت العالميه تعد صدقه جاريه لانها طاب ما هي على وجه الدنيا صاع كل من ساهم فيها ياخذ الحسنات حتى بعد وفاته وفعل منتفع به تعليم امور الدين والدنيا التي امر الله تعالى بها امور اللغه العربيه والقران الكريم فاذا كبيره يا اخي الجميع الاولاد والبنات سيتعلمون امور الدين والدنيا ويقل نسبه الفساد التي نراها هنا في افريقيا ويعرفون كيف يصبون كيف يتطهرون نحن نذهب الى المسايد لا نجد هناك من يعرف كيف يغتسل للطهاره ولا كيف يتوضا لا تتاخروا وتعجلوا وتعجلوا لان الله تبارك وتعالى سيكتب لكم الاجر الكبير انتم هذا العمل يعد جهادا وكما قلت هو صدقه جاريه صدقه جاريه اي الله تعالى يكتب به الحسنات طالما هذا المبنى هو موجود على وجه الارض